Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo's Space Program, where today we are taking a look at another fun mod, this time in the form of snacks, which is being made by forum user TGrootZM, which is probably not how you say that in the slightest, but hey, link in the description so you can find out for yourselves. But uh, what snacks does for the game is it adds a simplified life support system, which I've been looking for for so long, ever since I pretty much started playing this game. I've always thought it would be cool to have some form of a life support system, but the problem was all the mods I ever found for it, it just got way too complicated with all the parts necessary and the different resources they added. So if we head into the VAB, we'll take a look at what this adds to the game, and this well, is snacks. It adds snacks to the game, and that's it. No oxygen, no food, no water. I think I've even seen some life support mods that added waste disposal as a necessity, but this one simply adds to all crew modules a new resource called snacks. And depending on the size of the crew module you're using will depend on how much snacks you have available for your crew. Now the command pod, the Mark 1-2 command pod rather, as well as the Mark 3 cockpit are the largest and both hold 150 snacks on board. The uh, cupola module then holds 100, as well as the Mark 2 lander can, and the rest being, you know, the Mark 1 pod, the Mark 1 and Mark 2 cockpits, as well as the Mark 1 lander can, all hold 50 snacks on board. And even the wonderful little external command seat even holds two snacks on board, which just, I don't know why, but that amuses me greatly that <laughs> even on a command seat, the Kerbals make room for snacks. And besides the crew modules, you also have over in Utility the Hitchhiker Storage Container holding a massive 800 snacks on board. And then we also have in Science the Mobile Processing Lab holding 200. And actually a fun thing to point out for this one is a potential future feature, which I, I really do hope that he adds into this is he, they're thinking of adding in the ability to actually produce snacks using the processing lab and planetary samples, which I think would be very fun for uh, your moon bases and things of that variety. You would have the ability to actually produce snacks then and there, but for the time being, you have to transport them either with you or by some sort of... Uh, remote cargo vessel, however you like to get other resources up to your ships. And yeah, it's it's just a nice, easy, simple resource that adds some semblance of a life support system into the game. And it's a life support system that I think fits well for the Kerbal Space Program in general. If we load up this little snacks craft that I made earlier, uh, we'll take a look at a few things on here. Now, of course, like any resource, you can adjust it here in the VAB, so if you want, like this cupola module for instance, I uh, brought down the snacks all the way to zero, so there's none in there, but of course we still have 800 in the hitchhiker container, and 200 in the processing lab, and if we head over to uh, the launch pad just to take a look at these things, actually in-game, we could talk a little bit more about it. Now of course, like I said, it, it acts like any other resource, so say for instance, this cupola module now has zero snacks. If we just hold Alt and click down in the mobile processing lab, we can siphon off snacks from the processing lab into the cupola module. And that's of course how you might bring up new batches of snacks up to your space station. And yeah, it, it works just like any resource, so nice and convenient. Now it is a little bit annoying that we don't at the moment have a way of seeing how much snacks your ship overall has, except for, of course, in here, but say, if you're in the uh, tracking station, you don't know how much snacks your different ships have out there, but that is another feature being worked on right now. Eventually, there'll be a button up here that'll list all of your vessels and how many snacks they have left, which I think is cool. And besides just that, I mean, I think the snacks just fits in with the game perfectly. I mean, that's one of the reasons I made this cupola module here, because if we just go into the IVA, and look over here, I mean, we've already got snack bins built into the game, so it just makes sense 
that the Kerbals run off of snacks, and, well, it amuses me, the fact that they would run off of snacks. And, of course, I also chose the Koopala module because of uh, <laughs> this note here, that they ate all the snacks, and thus why I had it as zero when we came in here. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's very interesting. I, I like the idea of just a simple life support. And now, as to how it actually functions in the game, Every three hours right now, I believe that uh, that time may change, but as of this moment, every three hours, your Kerbals will randomly consume, on average, a fourth of a snack every three hours. So, typically, on average, they'll consume a half of a snack for every Kerbin day. And you can't predict exactly how much they'll eat because... Uh, they've already built into this mod a bit of a twist that some Kerbals, like, say, a courageous Kerbal, may sneak an extra snack at snack time, and other Kerbals who are stupid may forget to eat altogether. <laughs> and, uh, which I just find amusing that if they're, that they, you potentially could have a Kerbal who's too stupid to eat, which is just strange, but hilarious. And uh, when... They do eat, of course, the resource goes down, and if you run out of snacks while you are out there on a mission, the next time it comes around for them to eat, you will take penalties. Now, right now, since I'm in Sandbox, it really won't affect me too much, because currently, the effect is you will lose reputation. So if you're in career mode and your Kerbals go without food, you end up taking a, a uh, reputation hit every time snacking comes around to be due. So if you have a mission way out in deep space and they just ran out of snacks and they're running out of snacks for days or weeks, you could really do some serious damage to your space program's reputation. Now, some of the interesting things of potential future updates is they may add other penalties to hunger, such as maybe decreasing courage, uh, Kerbal passing out, or perhaps even reduced or no science produced until they're fed, which I think is quite interesting. And other potential future things is they may even add in contract support with the career mode to uh, go and resupply a ship up in space or wherever it is with snacks if they're low. And it's all of that I like. I, I like. It's it's simple. It's easy. And it's just one singular resource that, in my mind, is just so, so very Kerbal. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure, other life support mods exist, like I said earlier, with oxygen, water, food. But this is snacks. I mean, you can just imagine, Jebediah, he needs a snack, and that's what keeps him going. And, oh, and another thing to point out, if he does go out on EVA, they do take one snack with them. So that means they could survive about two days on EVA with uh, the snacks they bring with, which, again, just amuses me to no end. And, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's, it's just a nice, simple, concise mod that adds a singular new resource of snacks. And that makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's a mod that might interest you, uh, just check out the link in the description, as always, and you can go and check it out for yourself. It's it's quite fun. I'm already enjoying it just with what uh, I've spent with it so far, and I can't wait to see how it progresses in the future, especially with additional penalties and better visibility about what your ships have snack-wise. And yeah, I hope you do check it out. I hope you have fun. And I, of course, hope that you have enjoyed this episode. And of course, that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one. Now I'm going to go get myself a snack because this has made me hungry. <laughs> Later. <laughs> <laughs>